Okay, so hey everybody, we're going to be looking at a thing within Logic today where we're using the I.O. effect in order to patch in some external outboard gear. Our main goal for this demonstration is just to show you how to do this with a drum track um, so I can add some external analog compression to my drums. Not only could that possibly warm it up a little bit, but it's going to react differently than a digital compressor. So the goal here is really to maybe get a little different sound than we can get with some of the, the onboard effects. Okay, so let's dig right into this. So in this studio, we have Logic piggybacking on our Pro Tools hardware. That really creates a system where we have lots of tracks, but we still need to be able to patch this out. So in this case, we're coming out channels three and four and we're going down into our compressor units here our leveling amplifiers and then back up into the inputs now the reason why there's a disconnect here some of you who may be thinking why aren't the pro tools outs going into the ins well in this case we have some other units in the studio where we're going to first and so this is the unit that um, the Pro Tools would come out to so we could do like a little sub mix. But we just wanna bypass that and go straight out to this other hardware and back into Logic. So this is the first step right there. This is the unit itself that it's going into, Warm Audio uh, WA2A Leveling Amplifier. This is a great unit and it's one, it's like a model of an old thing but it also still works really well. This is what we're gonna be using with our drums. Uh, there's not very many settings on this, and that's one of the things that is so great about this old technology, but check it out. So over here, we have peak reduction, left and right channels, or it's just two different units that we're using as left and right, and then we have output gain here. Almost everything else except for the switch between limiting and compressing Everything else is just changing your meters. So not a lot of settings there. Literally just the peak reduction and the output gain. We're gonna be pushing this harder based on those two knobs. Okay, inside Logic, uh, we don't have a ton of options here. We just have a real simple dialog. The way we wanna do this is to come through and on that track, I'm just gonna enter the IO plugin under utility and this is what it looks like right here. So then I choose my output, and so I'm gonna use the three and four that I did in the patch bay, input back three and four, and then I ended up adjusting the output level down a little bit by 10 decibels just because we're entering the analog realm, which has a different whole set of dynamic range and different uh, overhead and all of that stuff. And so I just got there just by tweaking it, but a minus 10 with this particular unit is gonna be what we do every time. So let me play this just a little bit, we'll solo it out. So let's turn it off for a second. So you can hear the difference there. Now, the other thing we did was once it was all connected and we had signal flowing, I did a latency detection ping. This does, uh, just puts a little pop through there and automatically adjusts the samples so that your overall project stays in sync with itself. This is really important. Uh, it really helps because what you end up with then is the drum still remaining in time even though it's going out and back in, everything else in the project just gets pushed back. And so then we have good sync still happening. So with this, I'm gonna make some adjustments over here.
Okay, so you could, it's really hard to hear over the headphones or wherever you're watching this video. It's probably even harder to have that translate when you're doing this um, and you're watching a video about it in the first place instead of being here. But there's just a lot of character that gets added when you're pushing this unit pretty hard, but you can push it harder than you would a digital unit. So now we want to make sure we're actually doing this in the context of the overall little track we have going here. This is just a, a little thing thrown together for this video, but... Now the cool thing we can do if we want, we can come over here to our overall uh, master. We're going to do 5 and 6 as an output, 5 and 6 as an input, turn it all the way down for the moment, and now I'm going to actually patch in one of the EQs from this as well. You can kind of see as I'm doing this. It's a little hard with the handheld. Let's get some more cables. And now this should be actually going through. Let's actually turn those units on. The way we'll know that this works is if we have signal. Now we have these great tube EQs essentially mastering our entire project. So we can use the outboard gear for a mastering tool, or we can use the compressors or leveling amplifiers, in this case, on the individual track for the mix. So a lot of different options for however you want to work. This I.O. stuff, as long as you have an interface which has multiple inputs and outputs, you can do this with any outboard gear you want.